hello everyone the running time can be measured with different methods which are given here the step or frequency count operations count method asymptotic notations recursive relations equations and amortized analysis we will see one by one here uh, first method is we are using the uh, frequency count method by introducing the variable count in the uh, programming code here the count is declared as a global variable inside the program and which is initialized with the value zero then count value is incremented one by one for each step of uh, the statements execution for comments and declarations step count is not incremented that is we are considering that uh, the for the statement count value is zero for example if we are using the comment value here uh, uh, declaration like this then for this comment comment statement we will not increment the count variable value and also suppose when you are using the declaration of variable uh, for this also we will not increment the uh, count variable value and uh, the assignment operation return statement inside the uh, methods of uh, java programming uh, incremented by one uh, by the for the count variable so here the count will be incremented by one for example i am using the a equal to 10 so for this and return uh, b so here for this two statements we will increment the count variable by one like that looping statements and the conditional statements we will increment by one for each iteration that is it will consider entire portion this portion as a single uh, operation so here we will take this uh, entire statement as a uh, one uh, count and for for loop also we will take this is as a one count for the count variable so we will increment by one and whenever we got the number of steps in the uh, for the written program for example 5n plus 2 then here we have to consider the degree of the uh, term n degree of the term n so here we will consider only higher order exponents we will ignore the lower order exponents from the given steps so for example this is the number of steps of our written algorithm so here we will consider only the higher order term we will ignore the lower order term 5 n square plus 3 n plus 7 because n cube the degree 3 is higher than this degree 2 and 1 so this is a constant so this uh, uh, these terms are considered as a lower order terms when comparing with the uh, uh, degree 3 so we will uh, uh, we will ignore this uh, lower order terms as per the procedure and also we will ignore the uh, constant multipliers that means the coefficient of the higher order term so here first we are considering the higher order term then after that we will ignore the coefficient of the higher order term so finally we will consider only the higher order term without coefficient and here one more method is a tabular method we are using in this um, uh, a module so which is determining the total number of steps contributed by each and every statement so how many times that each statement is executed so here we will uh, calculate uh, steps for execution number of steps for execution and how many times that each statement is executing so for example inside the for loop here uh, i equal to 1 i less than uh, uh, n uh, then uh, i plus plus so here this i well this statement suppose uh, we are using system dot out dot println high okay so here uh, how many times this statement will execute so that is what uh, we will use this one and suppose if we are having one more statement system dot out dot print ln here welcome so this number of statements also we have to uh, consider then each statement will be executed how many times so here the, that is the procedure given here add up the contribution of all the statements 
finally to calculate the number of steps um, uh, taken by written algorithm for example it may give uh, 5n square plus 3n plus 2 so we may got like this the number of steps um, executed uh, by the written algorithm thanks for watching